heard this word before, hemiola. Hemiola, it comes from a Greek word that basically just means the three to two ratio, the ratio of one and a half to one, right? Now in music, we use this word to refer to a shift in pulse from triple meter to duple meter, or vice versa, from duple to triple, right? So the most common way that hemiolas occur in music is when you have a triple meter with straight divisions, such as three, four, time signature, one and two and three and one and two and three and, and then you briefly or for a long time switch those pulses to become compound duple. So one and two and three and one and two and three and becomes one and uh, two and uh, one and uh, two and uh. And that could be written as a six, eight time signature. And you'll notice that when you switch from straight triple to compound duple, the measure level pulse is the same. One and two and three and one and two and three and one and uh, two and uh, one and uh, two and uh. Also the beat divisions are the same. One and two and three and one and uh, two and uh, one and two and three and one and uh, two and uh. The thing that changes is the beat. So it's either, it, it goes from two plus two plus two to three plus three in terms of beat divisions, right? So, okay, so let's look at some examples of a hemiola. Now, the most famous example and kind of the best way of demonstrating a hemiola is the song America from West Side Story. This has this kind of groove. And so you have one and a two and a one and two and three and one and a two and a one and two and three and so you go just back and forth one measure each from straight triple to uh, compound duple. Actually, you do compound duple first. So compound duple one and a two and a and then straight triple one and two and three and and then the melody does the same thing. Yeah, one and a two and a one and two and three and. So Bernstein, when he wrote West Side Story, was actually going for a kind of Caribbean sound. And, you know, he, he did it all right. But let's look at an actual piece of Caribbean classical music. This piece is called Zamaqueca. It's written by an Afro-Cuban violinist composer named Jose White. Um, and at the end of this, the violin plays a melody that sounds and looks like this. Now you can see that Jose White has actually changed the time signature in the score of this piece. So you've got three measures of six, eight in this, um, in this melody. And then you go to one measure of three, four, back to six, eight, back to three, four, um, et cetera. Um, so let's see if we can count that. I'll just, um, I'll play the, the, the top line so that I can count along while you sing. So you've got compound duple at the beginning. Right, you have one and a two, and a one and a two and a one and a two and a two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two. So that's uh, definitely a hemiola when you switch from six, eight to three, four to six, eight. You can see that the measure pulse stays the same, the beat division stays the same, but actually the beat changes from uh, two beats per measure to three beats per measure. So the really cool thing about this example from Jose White is that while the violin is doing this hemiola back and forth between six, eight, and three, four, the piano is in three, four the whole time. So remember we had that, that six, eight melody, ya, da, 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 right? The piano has this kind of one, little two, and three, and one, and two, and three, and right? And then you have... There's another three, four against six, eight right there. That's pretty cool. So now not only do you have duple meter and triple meter one after the other, 
but you also have duple meter and triple meter at the same time. Some people call this a vertical hemiola, where you have triple and duple um, vertically aligned rather than horizontally aligned. One more cool thing about this Jose White example is the last two measures of this eight measure phrase. You can see that um, here at this point, we have, uh, we're in three, four, and you have, right? There's your three quarter notes, da, da, da. Then in the next measure, there's something that you don't see very often, four dotted eighth notes in one measure. Now it's still written in three, four, but what you have there is four equal pulses in this bar. Now I think that the way that we probably would want to consider this measure, given what has come before, is in duple meter with straight divisions. So the beats in that, the, there's one and two and one, and that would be two beats in that measure. The beats line up with the beats that we saw in all of these six eight measures. Ba da 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 da. And this is da 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 da. So the beat is now back to duple, but instead of compound divisions, instead of those triple divisions with three eighth notes per beat, you have two divisions per beat. So we're in straight division. And so it's it's kind of written as two dotted eighth notes here, but really what it is is it's duplets. You have da 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 da. So in this eight measure phrase, we have three types of meter. We have compound duple meter, that's the six, eight, one and a two and a one and a two and a. We have straight triple, one and two and three and one and two and three and. And then we also have one measure of straight duple, one and two and. And in all of those types of meter, the measure pulse is the same. So every measure is the same length. It's just divided into pulses differently. So cool.